Hey guys, I'm Michael Allen from TravelCostaRicanal.com and I'm going to tell you what Ticos don't like about us gringos. And when I say gringos, I'm talking about people from the United States and that's it. Gringos, United States. And I'm not talking about what gringos have done to the real estate and land values down here. That's another video. Other stuff. And I'm also going to tell you the worst thing gringos do last. So you want to stay tuned because actually it's the most important. Now the first thing, I learned this the hard way and pretty embarrassing, Atiko said, so where are you from? I said, well, I'm an American. He said, so am I. Hello, North America, Central America, people in the United States do not have a monopoly on America or American. So <laughs> they know Christopher Columbus too, so don't learn that one the embarrassing way like I did. Uh, they also don't like that we don't have any patience and that we're time oriented and we have this constant need to move and do things. Well, actually, they don't mind that we're like that. They just don't like us coming down and pushing our ADD attitude on them. They'd rather us keep it either in our mind or back in the United States. Now, guys, the truth is gringos tend to be loud and obnoxious. <laughs> Not that Ticos can't be loud. If you've ever been to a bar watching a soccer game, they can be quite loud. But I'm telling you in a group, if there's somebody being obnoxious, it's probably a gringo. Whooping and hollering, drawing attention to themselves. Woohoo! I'm a gringo. I can be loud. Well, they don't really like that, and it is obnoxious. So <laughs> try, not, try not to do that. They also don't like us bad-mouthing their food. All right? And I actually agree with them on this. Now, it's true that they don't like spicy, really. That's Mexico. They're not like that here. But just because you went to a touristy gringo price restaurant here doesn't mean you know their food. You only know touristy gringo price restaurants menus food. You know what I mean? So, yes, they have rice and beans as a staple here. Just like potatoes is a staple in most places in the United States. But believe me, they do all the stuff. They got recipes. They have fish and things. They dress things up. It's just you don't know it. You know, so believe me, the food is good down here. And if you don't think it's good, just bring a bottle of Tabasco sauce with you, I guess, on your next trip. Now, this next thing is, uh, can be kind of racist, whether you are meaning it so or not. Do not say, you don't look like a Tico, which basically is you're referencing that they look more white <laughs> than they should. And that's kind of playing, there, it's kind of playing into that whole uh, what we do to blacks a lot in the United States where if they're lighter, uh, we, th we th think that they may be more intelligent or we can relate to them better than the, the darker ones that could be sketchy and less intelligent. Well, that's obviously way not true and it's way not true here. Ticos here are from white to dark and everything between. So don't do that. You don't look like a Tico thing. It's... It's not good. And it does sound a little racist and discriminatory, maybe even on a subconscious level. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to strike that. Um, if you learn Spanish, or you think you learned Spanish before you come here, and you're talking to the waiter here, and he doesn't understand you, it's because your Spanish sucks, <laughs> or, you, or it's not as good as you think it is. It's not because he doesn't know Spanish, he lives here. But don't get all pissy and like you're talking great Spanish and he's got the problem because he doesn't understand you. No, you have the problem because your Spanish isn't good. It's very offensive. Think about it in a reverse situation if somebody was saying that about your English. All right, and the other funny kind of sad thing is if a Tico doesn't know English, you talking slower doesn't mean he's going to understand it any better. So, can you get me a beer? You sound retarded. Don't do it. It's embarrassing. And it's embarrassing to people from the United States. So, please don't do that. Okay, this next one I'm going to not get into it big time it's going to be general because it can be more in depth but generally it is true when you talk about the crime when you talk about the crime in costa rica being like you heard it was out of control they understand the hypocrisy in what you're saying believe me now crime can be a problem here but that's in, in a lot of places but if you think the crime here is is out of control then it's at mad 
max levels in the United States. It's kind of like casting the stone, calling the kettle black. Um, it's, it's very hypocritical and they know it and they don't like it. Now, and again, you know, the truth is most travelers that come here feel very safe. But you just hear the bad stories. You hear the one out of, you know, thousand stories type of thing. But by far, the worst things that gringos do here that they don't like, and actually we do this all around the world, not just here. We have this annoying habit of thinking we're better than everybody else. We talk down to people. We preach to, the, to people. Um, uh, we say things like, well, that's not how we do it in the United States. Guess what? They don't care how we do it in the United States. They are not jealous. They do not want to be us. I know that's hard to believe. We're great people. But they don't. They're very proud to be a Costa Rican. They don't mind telling you that. I'm telling you, you can't underestimate this. We do have this way about us thinking that we're here and everybody else is, is there. Now, although <laughs> they do like our movies and some of our music, um, but I think they'd just rather you appreciate the country and say thank you. And remember, just because somebody might be smarter doesn't necessarily make them wiser. And I would go so far as to say that there's more gringos wishing they were living the Tico lifestyle than Ticos wishing they were living the gringo lifestyle in the United States. You can bank on that. And kind of a funny one, <laughs> they think it's kind of funny that people from the United States when they come down here to travel or whatever, they wear their safari outfits like they're going to the Serengeti looking for elephants and giraffes. <laughs> guys, you don't need the safari outfits, all right? Trust me. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'm Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Peace, guys. Hope it helps.